Hey kids, today we're going to talk about spiritual inventory. This time we're going to think about our thoughts and how they affect our actions. Hmm, I think that it's going to be a little bit about how, what it means to have a pure heart. The verse I want to talk about today is from the letter that Paul wrote to the Philippians. So it's kind of like, sounds like a letter. It's chapter 4, verse 8, and it says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. I love this verse. We're going to use it to compare it, this kind of thinking, Philippians 4, 8 thinking, with what some of my friends call stinking thinking. Since Christmas is this week, let's relate it to that. Here's an example. John had an aunt who lived to be 101 years old. Really? We all called her Auntie Ione. She never had any children of her own, so we were kind of like her kids. She was one of the most pure-hearted and loving and kind people that I've ever met. But every Christmas, she would give the weirdest gifts. Sometimes these things would be things she picked up in her travels around the world. Sometimes they'd be from Walmart or Target or the dollar store, but always they were given with love. And groups of us would get the same things. For example, once John and his brother got these hats. Don't you love it? And once my sisters-in-law and I got these t-shirts that said, my husband is wonderful, that had these weird roses all over it. Sorry, don't have one of those to show you. We had a choice. We could practice stinking thinking and be sad or think less of her because she got us something we would never in a million years use or wear. Or we could practice Philippians 4, 8 thinking and remember how much we loved Auntie Ione and how much she loved us. Think of me when you get a gift from someone this Christmas that you don't think you will play with or wear or use. And remember, John still has this hat. And he or one of our sons wears it every Christmas because it reminds us of Auntie Ione and the wonderful person that she was. Let's read the verse one more time. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Maybe you could draw a big thought bubble and write these things in it. Find a place to hang it so you will remember them. Or you could just use your jar from last week and add a craft stick that says thinking on it. Then at the end of the day, you can use that for your inventory. Pull it out and think about how you thought. This week, as we celebrate Jesus' birth, let us also think about him. The Bible tells us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is honorable, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. He is excellent and worthy of praise. He is the Son of God. He came so that he could take the punishment for our sins, so that we could have a wonderful, close relationship with God. I'd say that he loves us a lot and that he and the things that he taught us are more than worthy of our thoughts. And that should cause us to look to him in prayer and study the things that the Bible teaches about him so that we can know how to think and how to act. There's your thought for the week. On another topic, I have great news. Next Monday, December 28th, CR is going to open, reopen, and Celebration Place will open too. We'll need to wear our masks, and a few other things may look different, but the important thing is that we can be together. I can't wait to see you guys, and in the meantime, have a very Merry Christmas, and remember to practice Philippians 4-8 thinking. Love you guys.